Hi everyone, welcome back to Pine Hollow Auto Diagnostics. This morning we have an interesting ghost Honda. This 2018 Honda Odyssey only has 70,000 miles, it's a clean van. The customer complaint is it has a ghost. Sometimes it just decides to turn on the ignition and the battery just goes completely dead. Unpredictable. Sometimes it happens every other day. His wife can't drive the car. It's a big problem. <laughs> so, right now, they basically dropped it off. Battery's fully charged. I'm like, all right, leave it. See if I can recreate it. Scanned it for codes, got a full health report. Cleared all the codes out and just let it sit. Sat here for a day, no issues. Starts up every time drive it around a little bit, park it. This morning, I open the door, press the horn, see if the battery's okay, completely dead. So, we're at less than five volts now. So, it did its thing. So what I wanna do is a jump start it, let it run, and do a full health report and see if there's anything interesting stored in, you know, in these modules. All right, let's see if the audio can boost this thing. It started. Okay. Let's see if uh, it'll stay running. Okay, it does. Check the voltage on here. Fourteen point three volts. Let's see how many amps. It just has one ground cable to the body. Interesting. Just want to get my amp clamp around here. And by the way, the owner has been taking the battery terminals off because this problem is just really annoying. Can we open the door? Oh my gosh. <laughs> How do you open the door? <laughs> Stupid smart cars. Anyways, jumper cables. He's got ratchet in there. I swear. Oh, not happy. Can't see the key. There we go. So it's charging at 30 amps. The battery itself can accept the charge. That's fine. Let's plug in the scanner and do a full health report. So here is the full health report. Everything's green except for ABS and BCM. So ABS has power or source failure for ECU. Ignition one circuit open and the BCM Power tailgate control unit, lost communication with gauge control module, lost communication with PW, lost communication with MICU, seat heater control unit, lost communication with climate control unit. Okay, very interesting. So I'm going to save that and then I'm going to have to look up some OEM service info, see if this is a common problem, if there are any TSBs, how the system's laid out, what could possibly cause the car to turn the ignition on. Because initially the customer said his accessory power was coming on on its own, um, like the radio. I'm like, well, did your cluster light up? He's like, actually, yes, the check engine light was on, the battery light was on. It's like you're ready to start the car. And he 
he, you know, tried to, he took it to the dealer. They told him it needed a new um, tailgate control power lift gate module. He's like, I don't know, 500 bucks, like, not guaranteed. Kind of sounded like they were guessing, obviously. But he even tried taking his keys far away from the car, wrapping them in foil, like nothing's close to the car, and it still did it overnight. He like turned the radio up, and he said he heard the radio come on, and he saw the cluster was lit up just on its own, a car sitting there with no input. So that's the information that we have, and uh, this is a fun one. So I turned the car off, and what I want to do is set up the top down here So let's um, set So let's go to 12.8 volts. I just want this battery um, No, not in a full charge state like 13.5 or 14. I want a 12.8 so the car will sit and if it acts up the top down will keep the battery topped up and hopefully we'll catch it in the act. It won't drain the battery all the way. And we'll see, hopefully, something interesting. So, I like that. Set, set, and start. So, little green light comes on. Charging at 30 amps. All right. Time to go do a mountain bike race. I just left the car off and now the dash is on. This is exactly what's going on. I heard some clicks in the BCM. I was like, D -d 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 -d. hear that? D -d -d -d. So weird. Push engine, brake to push. Start it up. Shut it off. Leave the key away from the car, so it's definitely not inside the car. Point eight, yep, 15 amps. So we'll just leave it here. I'll be back. All right, so got back from the gravel race about four hours later. Look at the dash, it's lit up, it's saying zero miles per hour, hood open, like it's ready to start with no key. Top down is doing work. This thing's drawing, drawing about 10 amps with the ignition on. 12.8 volts, so that's a good experiment. Keeping the charger on there. The car is, right now it's broken. It's not supposed to be ignition on. I mean, can we start it? Does this work? That works. Let's see. What if I, what if we tap the BCM? This thing, is this the, where's the BCM? This thing? Like Keith said, just kick stuff. <sighs> Let's look up some service info. See where the BCM is. I, I think it's got to be this thing with 100 fuses in it. I mean, it was clicking and I don't know if it's heat related, but obviously this car is broken. Oh, this is an interesting message. Anti-theft system. This system has lost power. 
push and hold the power button for more than two seconds to enable the system. Hmm. Let's go right into our BCM. Where's the BCM? BCM. Anti-theft system. The system has lost power. What does that mean? <laughs> Security, read fault code, so those are the four codes that we saw before, but this time the car did not lose power because we had the charger connected. So. Lost communication with MICU, MICU frame. So anyways, bottom line is, the only way this car is supposed to be able to turn on, you know, the ignition on state, is if the wireless key fob is inside the vehicle, that's one condition, and two, you have to push the button. In this case, neither of those conditions are met. So, the car just on its own, click, 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 turn on the ignition, and it's trying to drain the battery. So, in this case, now this is a rare case where I would say replace the BCM. The BCM here is responsible for everything. You know, this wireless keyless entry system, it has antennas, um, it's responsible for a lot of stuff. It is like the master uh, mode switch which enables you know clicks the accessory relay on the ignition relay on it does everything so if that module is acting up it can do all kinds of weird stuff uh, we've seen this before on I think that Lincoln MKC where that module was misbehaving, causing a parasitic draw, causing the whole car to just stay awake. This is symptoms a little different. It's actually turning on the car, not starting the engine, but turning on the ignition. So, you know, we spent one hour on it, and in a case like this, you can take forever. Like, what? what what's the next? step you would do. It's very intermittent. Sometimes it doesn't happen for a day. Um, and if the module decides to do something weird, what would you scope? Is it an input problem? It can't be because the key is outside the cart. The module is not supposed to, even if you push the button, it'll just say, you know, key missing or key not found. So, I actually talked to my friend Keith DeFazio at New Level Auto about this particular car. Just throwing around some ideas, and he said, A, he's never seen this before, this symptom. And he agreed with me that the BCM is the most likely culprit. It's responsible for everything. That's the only thing that could, the only module that could turn on this ignition. There's no other inputs that you know, let's say water intrusion into you know, from the sunroof or something silly like that, um, that wouldn't cause it because the key is outside of the car. Even if the button was shorted out, it still would not turn on the ignition. So I'm calling this BCM. That's actually the the cheaper route for the customer. It's, I think, 300 bucks. not too hard to install. We can program the keys. And there's an updated BCM for this. There's no TSB relating to this issue. I looked online, looked at some Honda forums. There are a few people who have this 2018 Honda Odyssey Elite who have the exact same symptom, and I bet they have the exact same problem. So I talked to the customer. He's in full agreement. He just wants the car fixed. I said, in this case, we're going to have to not fire the parts cannon, really, 
but take a very educated guess and replace the one module that is suspect. So we'll order that up, install it, give it back to the customer, let him drive it, and see if that fixes the car. If it doesn't, then we'll cross that bridge when we get there. So let me know in the comments if that would be your approach to this car. Um, I, you know, I hate to do that, but in this case, it makes the most sense financially and you know, time-wise, um, because you could you could spend days and days in this car and still not really get a definitive answer. These modules can do weird things on their own. You know, obviously the BCM is power and ground because it works most of the time. If it didn't have power and ground, it wouldn't be able to, you know, click the relays on. But in this case, it's a logic. Something in the circuitry is messed up. And it just, for one reason or another, decides to um, go nuts. That's what you're dealing with uh, with these newfangled cars. So, we'll uh, post part two of the BCM replacement. And for now, thanks a lot for watching. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Well, not good news for the Honda Odyssey, the 2018. The BCM is apparently unobtainium. I have called at least five online parts sources. Uh, obviously, the local dealer is useless, uh, the one that banned me, so I didn't even bother with that. Uh, one, one of the places that I called, the guy is like, yeah, it's a supply chain issue on the manufacturing side, or there's a labor shortage, so I don't know what to say. I guess you just can't fix these cars anymore due to parts and unavailability. It's a 2018. It's a Honda. So, I don't know what my advice is. Keep your old cars on the road. Stock up on parts. Um, <laughs> this is just silly. It's ridiculous. The car's only five years old, and you can't get module for it. Um, yeah, I'll tell the owner we can install a kill switch temporarily, but there's really no other good solution here. So, if there's an update, we'll, uh, we'll be back, but thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Alright, a little bonus footage. Uh, some people might ask, aren't you a little premature in calling this BCM? What about connectors? What about green crusties? Uh, like the accuracy saw with the mobilizer issue. Well, let's look at the wiring diagram and see if there are any intermediate connectors between this BCM and the you know ignition power relays, and you know basically see if it's possible for this car to turn on the ignition without the BCM commanding it to. So here is. Uh, the OEM power distribution diagram. So there's the battery, you got some big fuses, and this goes to under dash fuse and relay box. And these are the four main relays. There's ignition one relay accessory, ignition one B, and ignition two relay circuit. Now, we're worried about the control side. Obviously the load side works because when the relay clicks, everything's powered on. But why is the relay turning on without any input from the driver with no key in the car? So accessory, no, basically these four relays. Let's see where the power comes from on the control side and you know it's ground side switched. There it is, body control module. This thing is responsible for everything and there's no intermediate connector between the control module and the fuse box. They cut, they're actually right by each other. So on this black wire, G pin 17, this powers up all of the circuits, you know, uh, the control side for the relay. Now this, the uh, switch, ground side switch, is separate for each relay. For example, ignition 2 relay circuit grounds out at pin 32. Ignition 1B and 1A grounds out at connector F, pin 2, and then the accessory relay circuit, which is also turned on by the way, he said the radio comes on, not just the cluster, pin 16 on connector G, 
um, at the BCM. So, so basically, to turn these relays on, the BCM has to provide a power and the ground to, um, you know, to click each of these relays on. So it's kind of like, you know, Green Krusty could maybe ground the wire or um, short to power. I mean, not really. It would actually take quite a bit of current to turn a relay on. Not just a soft short like we saw in the immobilizer where it was just a can signal. I don't see any other possibility other than this BCM just being just the brain got fried. <laughs> That's the only thing I see. So unfortunately it's on back order. The owner will keep me updated what he decides to do. For now he's just disconnecting the battery every day. Uh, this is uh, pretty crazy. Um, so if we had the car we could test it long term. I would scope I don't know, maybe take one of these relays out and install jumpers on the control side and see if we're getting a power when we're not supposed to or are we getting a ground when we're not supposed to. The magic happens in this BCM.